right here's the cast iron pans I was working on big block number six and uh, slant number three this is after four rounds in the oven and uh, as you can see starting to glaze over pretty good get a good carbon base uh, if you look I shine it this swirly stuff going on right here what you want to do every time you take it out take some steel wool and get that down as much as you can to an even even base you don't want to scrub it all off and you'll never scrub it off with this fine steel wool this is the finest steel wool as you can get it and I just bought it at Walmart uh, run it all the way around and the outside is not a huge concern but it does make a better finish but the inside for sure you want it to be nice and smooth and then start the process over again but get it down there good you don't want to take it down to the metal and take your time you get a much better finish like that and I always do the rim of the pan too And you can run your finger across. And it should be relatively smooth, but it's a high spot. Now, go back to our oil. And I might actually have to put some more on the rag. But this is pretty good for four rounds in the oven. And this guy here, she'll uh, she'll be done very shortly I got a good base going there I'm guessing two maybe three more times In the back that's looking pretty and I mean the back's not a big concern but still you know if you're finishing you want your best finish That's how you do it. But in any event, I wanted to show you that. Bring you back when they're done. And uh, hopefully we'll flip, flip an egg with them. Thanks for watching.